Hello everyone and welcome back to this Valencia career mode. Now today we're going to continue on with the second leg of of the Copa del Rey, the Copa de España on FIFA. Now today I'll not well I'll wait a wee minute. If you haven't seen the last episode, to see the first leg I'll not spoil it for you yet. No like because obviously it'll come up in the next match. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully, it's at home against Atletico Madrid, one of the top trio in Spain. So hopefully, we can do a good result today, get a good result today, and potentially progress in the competition. Now, today we're going to be playing playing Atletico Madrid, and then we're going to be playing as Espanyol, and then we're going to be seven Osasuna. So that is the plan for today, and hopefully we can do well. So you can throughout these competitions, and potentially last episode actually, our, we're going to substitute Baggy for Elsa Ser as last episode they played rather well for us, so we did now. So we'll get him a run out from the start, so well, and see if we can. See if his form can continue now as he's been doing uh, last performance he's been doing very well so he has now like so a let go Madrid as the next opponent and let's see how this goes. We're at home, so we are so we got Ryan and Goal, Guy at left back, Bezo Mustafi at centre back, Skincello at right back, Madran, Perez and Chan as their centre midfield. Nani at left wing, Rodrigo, Rodrigo at right wing, and Elsa Ser up top. So as you can see in the top right, so as the last score uh, was one each. So hopefully, hopefully we can continue. We got an away goal, so we did, and uh, we'll see if this can continue throughout the throughout the this match and then throughout the rest of the competition as well. So off we go, Valencia versus Atletico Madrid and it's at home. So off we go, let's see how we do. So here we are, Valencia versus Atletico Madrid, the second leg. We managed to get a draw last time and hopefully we can get Potentially the same or maybe a better result than we did in the last episode. So here we go, Gaetan on the ball. Getting chased down by Rodrigo early on. So it is Fizo. Definitely the first, the, and the only cup competition in Spain. So it would be very nice to be able to, well, being knocked out by not be, or being rather pessimistic, but being knocked out by one of the top three is better than being knocked out by one of the minnows anyway. So as in the competition, at least you have a decent reason to be knocked out. But saying that, we're hoping if we get a good result today, then potentially we can we can go very far in this competition. So as no Koke gets the tackle in. So as Cancelo. Passes to Chan, and passes to Perez. And Madran's on the ball, is getting rather reckless at the minute. So is El Cesar. El Cesar to Perez, Perez to Rodrigo. And hold the ball up to Madran. Madran passes to Pere er, Perez, passes to Nani. Oh, he tried to get a chance in, so we have Perez with the opportunity, but gets deflected away. So it does the guy on the ball. What can we do now? That's what Red Elsa Sir gets a block in, but Old Black gets his hands in that one. So he does definitely creating opportunities from from the beginning. Now Koke gets an opportunity, uh, gets the ball again. Gamero passes back to Koke, passes to Thomas. Thomas gets tackled by Perez there. Now Chan that's on the ball. So there's Elsa Sir. This is there to Madran. And Rodrigo. Champion Thomas gets the block in there, so he does. 
well read by Basil. Basil T. There is the Elsa Sarah. Finds the run. Finds the run of Rurigo. Rurigo with the chance for Rurigo on his left foot. But one for her. Oh, Black. Says that one and one Frank can get a good enough connection. Declare it away, but Oh, Black again. So it's Perez. With the chance, Oh, Black with another save. That was rather, rather ambitious. To say the least. But it's worth a shot, so it's, it's worth a try. So it's now Cool, cool Kid gets tackled by Chan. So it's now Elsa Serra turns to Swan. So he does it still, Elsa Serra. But the chance, but Old Black gets his hands on that again. So does now Nani. Passes back to Cancelo. Cancelo trying to hold it up, passes back to Perez. Perez on his left foot, tries to top corner. Again, that's another good save. Definitely, we're making making no black earn his money today. So are now Griezmann on the ball. They're looking for we tag of their own. So they are. We get Griezmann tries an opportunity. Just we've got a lip and shot. So as now Cancelo passes to Elsa there. There you go, El Cesar. El Cesar, trying to find a run. El Cesar again! The Savic gets tackled, so he does. And one from with the challenge and goes off our butt, or one of our players. Oh, Black already, seven saves to Ryan's one. So that's Koke. Koke trying to find Gamero. Gamero, that's a very good challenge by Bezo, so it was. Passes across the box is rather risky. So as Cancelo passes the Chan. And Perez. It's coming up to half time, so it is now, and we haven't made haven't made much of our opportunities, but there we go, it's nil nil at the break. So it is another match is Leganes is one each against Celta Vigo and Barcelona are actually losing uh, 2 1. 2 1 against Sevilla. So they are they've either losing or lost. So they have now. But hopefully it's been a good performance thus far from us. So it is and not going out us, not going out Atletico Madrid and Sevilla, not going out Barcelona means that the only team left to worry about would be Real Madrid. So uh, but potentially speaking too soon, but we don't want to do that now. Oh Chan passes to Madran. Madran trying, his legs weren't long enough to, to carry on with, his, or with the strands now, but Griezmann on with the attack, so as now Chan on the ball again, so as to Nani, Nani passes back to Chan. And Perez. And again now to Madran. And can we make anything of it? Now Elsa Serra finds Chan with the chance but Old Black's up there again. So it has been dropped over and so, so close. So as if Old Black fell a wee bit back or lost his balance a wee bit, it would have been, would have been very unfortunate for us. But saying that, Atletico Madrid's back in the attack again, so they are. Now Elsa Serra. Elsa Serra holding the ball up. The Chan now, can he? He's trying to find his teammate again. Now Thomas. That's just the cool guy. So it seems definitely, but we can hold on at the minute, so we can. Definitely. Now Nanny. That's just the Elsa Ser. Elsa Ser passes back to Nanny again. So as Nani finds his team, finds Madran, so he tries to get it on his left foot. Unfortunately, it's too late, and then the defender managed to get in the way of it. So yeah, that was, I was trying to uh, guy getting ahead of his man again. So it was after his other oh, bad pass, this place pass. Now Perez on the ball. This else is there. This is our passes to Madran. Madran holding the ball up to Chan. Chan with the opportunities. 
One pious man, so he has, but he's getting to, uh, he's, he's trying to find space, but there isn't very much now. Oh, yeah, this is there. This is Nanny. Nanny goes in the way run for himself. So, yes, he's getting held up, so yes, he's getting challenged. Oh, my days. Uh, the referee doesn't give anything for that one. Now, Graceman gets tackled, so he does back to Chan again. So as we back here there, so as us our and that was Savic now getting our getting the challenge in. Now go down. Showing off we bit skills there with the back heel. Now Gaitan as well. So as with the overhead overhead flick. There we go, nine minutes to go. So as and we'll see. If we can hold on. Now Wam Fran on the ball. And that is offside to Saul. So I was 83rd minute. We saw about with the header to Gabby. Gabby to Saul. We're rather slack at the back now at the minute. So our Saul Bezo with the with the deflection there. Actually beating them in possession at the minute, 52 to 48. So our Perez with the lofted pass. So it's Gaitan with the shot, Savic still, Savic, but does that come off our player, kill himself one of ours, so it does. Another challenge, Perez away again, so it is now, that makes Jason down, what can he do? Put pressure on him, here we go, Griezmann's in centre, Perez tries to hip it away, it'll be a good, a good opportunity. So it is now, we'll see. Savage on the ball, and that is it! So it's 0 0. Not often you're happy about a 0 0 draw. But fortunately, that means that we are through. So we are, to, we are through to the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey. Eight shots, five on target for us. Three shots, one on target for Atletico Madrid. And that means that we are through. To the quarterfinals. So off we go. We'll see. Hopefully this form can can continue uh, going into the next match against Espanyol, and we'll see how we do against them in the league. So off we go for the next match. So our next match is actually against Osasuna. So it's now after uh, the after the last round. Uh, the matches have been rescheduled to fit in with the Copa del Rey. So as and now uh, we're actually going to send the first match of the first leg of uh, the competition against Osasuna in the quarterfinals. So well, so we're keeping the team the same: Ryan, Cancelo, Mustafi, Vezo, uh, Gaia, Chan, Perez, Madran, Rodrigo, El Cesar, and Nani. So the last. Last three matches for Osasuna, Granada, they drew against Granada 0-0, uh, they won against Rayo, Rayo or Balas, Balacano, so they have they won 2-0 and then they lost 2-1 against Rayo there, so they did and we'll see how they do against us, so hopefully it's a good result and we'll see how this goes. It seems to be there seems to be not very many other matches, but Nani has got a goal already, so it's 28th minute and Cancelo's got a yellow card. That's the serve for the second. Uh Backley's came on for Rurigo, Rerera's came on for Minucci. There's a couple more substitutions and Nani's Nani got a goal, Nani missed the penalty, Suarez came on for Madran and Clark Clark got a yellow card. So that is another two goals for Nani. He's been playing very well for us recently, so he has out the left. And fortunately for us, like that has helped us to progress into the next round and we'll be playing. We'll be playing also soon. And the next episode soon we will to finish off. Uh, to finish off uh, that that leg. Or to finish off this stage of the competition. And Elsa's there getting a goal as well.
So the next match is against Bella, Bella Royale in the league. So it is, and now we'll see how this goes. We got a uh, got a press conference to go to. We'll actually praise our we'll praise our guys. So we will now for the result that we had, or for the results that we've been having now, and play this match. As we need a good result in the league, we've been slipping out recently, giving away precious points that we don't really need to give away, and hopefully we can do well in this game. So as it's away from home, Villarreal versus Valencia, we're keeping the team the same, and hopefully we'll get a good result. So off. So off we go. So here we are, Villarreal versus Valencia. First match of Phil's and Ages that we've been playing in the league. So it is. Oh, here we go. They got Alexandra Pato. So they do. Well, oh, er, <laughs> he plays in the Brazilian National League. Well, he used to play anyway. So then yeah, they play for teams such as AC Milan. Player, and definitely he's up for that. He's definitely up there. So as he used to be up there anyway. Don't know what's happened to him in the last couple of years anyway now like. But so now Villarreal used to be a good or used to be up there against uh, against Real Madrid, against Barcelona as well. So it just depends on how what are they doing in this match now? Guy on the ball. Gets a cross in, but that's a rather rush cross, so it is. Very misplaced. Now, Gaspar passes to Indy. Indy passes to Soriano. As Perez gets a block in, Bezo gets, gets it away. So it does. Nani with the wee flick there. So as Elsa Sayer holding the ball up. 16 matches played and we've conceded 8 goals. So we have we done very, very well in the competition thus far. As it's in the top left. So then in the league. So this is Bakambu. It's a good tackle there. So as now we can start an attack of our own. So it is. Now we're Rigo. What can we do? Finding Chan. Chan gets tackled, so he does now. Every time a player that goes down, you always think like, could he be or could he have a nasty fall and could he be injured now? Like, but hopefully not. Or hopefully there won't be any any injuries coming up to this time of year. Now Madran, Madran finds Emmer Chan and with the challenge and I. The jam with the ch or the jam with the chance, and unfortunately we couldn't capitalise with that one. The chance, this is rather rightly so it is now. Camera down, lads. And the jam passes to Elsa Sayer. Elsa Sayer back to. Elsa Sayer back to his teammate because has got that one. And I passes or passes it away now. That was very good touch by Vezo. <laughs> So I was from behind. I, that's another challenge. <laughs> I, where, is the re, where is the ref going to book anybody now? Like, I mean, nice, nice unintentional one-two between Nanny and Elsa Sarah there, Gaia. So I don't get or sorry, I have no tackles now, but we can do. Can do passes to Soriano, Soriano. The De Santos, De Santos, I was diving header by Pato there, so he's trying to take his opportunities. Now Perez, Perez trying to find Nani, what over the top three pass that was. Now Nani gets challenged by Reyes there, like the Reyes. And Rodrigo crosses it in, Nani trying to get a header. Here we go Perez. Perez passes it back, he's found this man, Elsa Sayer. He's trying to get a challenge, uh, he's trying to get a shot away, but it's not working here. So as we definitely need to... Definitely need to sort something out anyway, Elsa Sayer. Rigo. 
We're definitely playing very defensive, but saying that, they got a chance, Nanny! First time shot! And what a pass! Oh my days, that is what we needed. So it was well read. So it wasn't right, Nanny with the sharp shooting again. So it's getting, taking his chances. And just before half time, shooting Villa, shooting Villa Real down. And that is us 1 0 up. So it's very well played. That is what we needed. So it was quick, quick attack. So it was out of the blue even. So it wasn't potentially against the run of play, but. Definitely, there we go, and Ryan. And getting his hands on that. And now, there we go, so it is 44th minute goal. So it was from Nanny. To set us up very nicely for the second half. Two shots, two on target at the minute, and it's zero all round for Villarreal. So it's, and I think after that, I don't think any changes are required. So there could be a couple for fitness, but I think that'll, that'll do us at the minute. So well, and now we're kicking off for the second half. Now Nami, assisting the drum. Guy trying to find his teammate. Nice we back heel, but unfortunately, if we turned all the way up, would it would have been a good opportunity? But unfortunately, we are decided to turn into the defender instead of away from him. That was a bad pass to Chesef, or Chesef. This is the Pato. Pato gets tackled by Mustafi. That's the Sarah Cami. Hold on, Perez. Perez passes it to Rodrigo. Rodrigo holding it up again. Says Rodrigo getting tackled by Costa. Now Martins. Ball going all over the place. That's well read, or well read to Elsa Sarah. That's now they're on the attack again to Santos. Santos to Bagandai. Bagandai. Now Andaya. Now on the ball. They're trying to get a challenge in between him and Vizu. So it's for Emma, or Emma Chan. Let's tackle in now Nani on the ball. Trying to hold it up so it is Chan. Dan Rodrigo. Rigo with the chance Elsa Sarah is getting tired. <laughs> oh my days, he's getting or uh, getting held off the ball like nothing normal now. So it's Cherry Slab, Good Chef, even. He's on the wing. So as we're trying to hold the ball up, so we are. Acosta's got a turn in, so he has a low driven shot. And it goes wide. That's fortunate for us, we're hassling him again, so we are somebody trying to... And that was Mustafi trying to get a slight tackle on to block it. Now Bruno's come on for Soriano. Now they're going the whole way back. So they are. Reese passes. Passes the Cherry Chef. Now they got a chance, Pato! With the diamond header. So as he's disappointed, I'm shocked about that, so I'm now. So I was trying to ch it looked like it got tripped over, so it did. Unfortunately the header goes slightly wide. The channel on the ball passes to Elsa Zer. Elsa Zer to Nani, back to Elsa Zer again. Now he's got an opportunity, so he does. He's still hassling again. So it is a rather Rather frustrated about that one. As the Gandhi. Oh, they cost has got away from his man, but Gandhi again down the wing. So as everybody's rather tired at the minute. So as Mustafi. The header getting, getting that blocked away. Oh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo gets, getting challenged now. Only 10 more minutes to play. Chan on the ball. We find Rodrigo in space. So we have, has he got enough fitness to carry on? Rodrigo with the chance. And both wingers now have got a goal. 
So we have two goals to nil. Two goals to nil for us, so it is now. Against Villarreal, and that pretty much sails it. So it does for this match. There you go, running down the wing, that was well read. So it was. Finding space, unfortunately his legs kept up. Kept up with it, so he did. He didn't feel too tired, and got a shot away before the defender caught, caught up with him. So very well played, two goals to nil. Shows you can't, can't afford to put your foot off the gas, put the foot off the throttle <laughs> or in any situation now. And definitely it's good to get a result from it. So it is now Elsa Serre. Elsa Serre finds Nani. Nani, what can we do from here? And Nani gets, tries to get across in. <laughs> Somehow it keeps in, so it does, it gets a header. Header back in again. Now Indy. Indy passes to Figueres. And that is it. Two goals away from home. So it's very, very well played. So as the team is over the moon about that. So it is, and we'll see. Round off. Two shots, zero on target for Villarreal. Four shots, three on target for us. So it is, and two goals to nil for us as well. So there's no other matches available. And we're going to see. If there's any transfer offers or anything like that, that would be handy to have. But our next match is actually going to be a transfer episode. So it is now we're going to have two matches. So we are, and then I think we're going to have one in the transfer in the transfer deadline day potentially now. And Austria Austria is wanting us to be their manager, but we're going to reject that one, so we are. And our next match is against Osasuna for the second leg in the competition. So it's transfer offer for Osasuna. Definitely, after the performance that he's been on, we don't need, we want him as a substitute striker, so we do, but at the same time, uh, we don't want to lose him at all, so we don't now, like, so happy enough with that. So, our next match is against Osasuna, it's at way, but fortunately, with the three goal advantage that we picked up in the first leg, hopefully we can finish it off in the second. So... Thanks very much for joining us for this episode. Hope you have enjoyed. And until the next match against Osasuna in the Cup, we'll see you again for the next episode. Bye!